What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Maya. And it's your boy, Daniel. And welcome back to the MV Takeover. I look like a little kid. <laughs> anyway, brother, tell them what we're doing today. <laughs> so today, uh, first off, guess what day it is? Taco Tuesday! Was all that necessary? I was trying to do a little quiver and look. Anyway, today's Tuesday, and we're making tacos. But with a twist. So today we're gonna be trying meatless tacos because why not? So? And I'm hungry. But before we start this video though, don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, hit the little notification bell so that you get a notification. Every time we post, we're trying to get to our goal. Our first goal is 100 subscribers. Yep. So go ahead and make sure you subscribe, share it with somebody, tell them to share it with somebody, and you know, have them join the MD Takeover. And we're dropping videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So make sure y'all link with us. All right, you ready to get into it? Let's get into All it. All right, we're gonna do it kind of vlog style today, y'all. So. A lot of people be asking us how we be giving out <laughs> food and stuff like that. You gonna find out? Tune in. Let's get it. Oh. All right, you guys. So we're gonna be starting these meatless tacos. So first and foremost, I'm using my Dutch oven. Her name is Linda. This is Linda, y'all. Everybody say hello, Linda. Oh. So I'm hey, using my... Linda girl. Ciao. How you doing? <laughs> so I'm using my Dutch oven back here. I got some black beans simmering just because black beans. So I'm gonna start on like medium high heat and start with like. A teaspoon of olive oil, and then um, I'm gonna start by by doing some vegetables. This is the Gidris mix. If y'all don't know about Gidris, get you some Gidris. Gidris saves me so much time as far as chopping vegetables. So um, we gonna get Gidris up in here, okay? And that's on period. So actually, I'm gonna let my oil heat up just a tad bit, so just like a second or two, you know, <clears throat> just a second or two. They good just be it. And it's a Louisiana thing. Mm -hmm. For people that's not in Louisiana, I think it's a sea it's called seasoning blend. Y'all yeah. might have it in the frozen section. Um so it's by a, the vegetables and stuff. It's a Creole <laughs> seasoning. It has yellow onions, bell peppers, celery, green onion, parsley, and that garlic. That garlic. Oh, I can also get some, some minced garlic, huh? I'm just new. I'm not used to being on the food network. <laughs> um. The loving network. Exactly. So my oil is, is hot. I'm gonna go ahead and get my vegetables in here. You don't need much. It's just a little bit we had left over. You don't have to go and buy anything special just for this. You have a little quarter of an onion, some garlic or something. I'm gonna get that in there. And then because, because I love garlic, <laughs> because I love garlic, I'm just gonna put a little extra garlic in there too. So we're gonna let that. Let's get into this pot. For real. Say hello to Linda, everybody. Gonna let that do what it do. I'm actually bump that up a little bit more on the heat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything. Yes, ma'am. And so while that's uh while that's working, I'll show y'all this. So this is what we're using instead of meat. We don't eat beef in this household. This is not a beef or pork household. Mm -hmm. We usually do ground turkey or we'll do ground chicken. But um we saw this in Walmart, so we're gonna try it. It's veggie grillers crumble it has nine grams of protein so i'm morning stop on so we're gonna try it and yeah i'm just gonna use it just like it is ground turkey so we're gonna get into the end. you have to have a plethora of seasons exactly right? if your seasoning cabinet don't look something like this or better i don't know if i could eat your girl food. i don't know what you're doing that part you might not season in your food you're not what i know mike i say you might not season in your food. <laughs> So come in on this. Come look at this. This is what you want your vegetables to look like. I don't have much in here, but you want them to kind of start getting translucent when they become fragrant. I can smell them. They smell real good. And one thing, uh, I will just say this is not, these are not going to be any authentic, authentic Mexican or Hispanic tacos. I apologize. We're just making what tastes good. Um, oh, I have to sneeze. <laughs> Bless you, buddy. But, um, one thing that's important in Creole cooking is you want to season at every single step, every single stage. What you did first? So I'm just going to do a little salt and pepper right now. And then I'm going to also add some adobo. If you don't know about, if you don't know about adobo, get into it. <laughs> just going to add a little bit of that. back in the camera? The adobo? Mm-hmm. That adobo. They, they have different kinds, but oh. that's the adobo I use. Let's get into it. For real, just a little, 
Just a little flavor. I want these vegetables to cook down all the way. So I'm gonna be real patient with it. Yes, indeed, it is sealy. Wow, it smells so good. It smells so good. <laughs> so good. Check on these beans back here or whatever. Yes. Yeah, we do got some black beans. Can't have tacos without the black beans. Okay. And that's on what? That's on period. On period. On who? On period. <laughs> on period and red. All right, we almost there, y'all. We are almost there. Oh, it so good. Yes, Lord, for the rest of our days. And you can see too, like I don't have for those people who don't like onion and all that. I don't have much in here. It's just a little bit, just to add some flavor. Some people make it without it, but I mean, I just had a little bit left, so why, why let it go to waste when I can put it in my tacos? What you said? Add a little flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and um open this. I'm about ready to put this in here. This is my uh, this my little my little meat. A little vegetable meat. And also, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this recipe is is I know it's at least vegetarian, but it's it's vegan, you know, unless you unless you put cheese on your tacos, which you will do. I will put cheese. Um but I mean you could also get a vegan cheese. So for all of my vegetarians or vegans out there, this is something that you could definitely do. Just get the morning star um veggie griller crumbles and you know, wow. Get into like that. It. Oh, it looks like me. It does. So. Let me get this up. All right. So my vegetables look good. I'm gonna go ahead and add this in there. These crumbles. I'm gonna have to read that back of that packaging later. Let's see how they did it. See how they did what? He did that that color and to it actually looks like beef. Like I mean, it actually looks like you know. Oh, and it's just, it's water, soy flour, corn, yeast extract, and then onion and carrot and juice concentrate. It's that, it's that soy flour. Mm. That's what it is. So this was frozen. So I'm just going to kind of take and just mix it up with those vegetables that I have in there. Get it all good, let it warm up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to season it. And then also what you want to do is, because you, you don't want no dry meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's nasty. So you want to pause? Huh? <laughs> pause. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want no dry meat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But anyway, keep it PG thirteen for the cheering that's watching. <laughs> yeah. Um. So once you have that, then it's gonna unthaw. We want to let it get warm, and then I'm gonna add maybe about a half a cup of water to it after I season it, and just let it simmer, um, just so the meat can still be moist. Um, yes, we like it moist. I don't like you. <laughs> Make sure you keep a clean cooking station because ain't nobody got time for trash. Um, what you said. <laughs> whether in your kitchen and in your life. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm like, y'all ain't catch it if you want. Right. I'm going to go ahead and add some more seasoning. So, I'm going to add some garlic powder because I love garlic, even though we put minced garlic. I'm going to add some garlic powder and some onion powder. Now, y'all can tell we cook. We got the big, big versions of the seasonings. <laughs> and then, what's gonna make your taco set off? You need um, cumin, especially, and you also need chili powder. So, cumin is what gives it that. I don't know. It just gives it that, that taste, the little flavor you're looking for. So, I'm gonna add my cumin, my chili powder. Also, y'all don't ask me how much seasoning. You just season till it tastes good. Everything is seasoned Girl, to look, taste. You don't look at that and see. <laughs> The Bible says, oh, taste and see. Exactly. Adding, That's why I just be adding. Right. I'm worry. adding cayenne now and then a little <laughs> paprika. And last but not least, the holy grail of holy grail, yeah, the Tony Satchery. It smells That's so good. good. I'm going to add some Tony oh, Satchery. And then I'm just going to mix it. And if y'all don't have any Tony seasoning, wherever y'all at, just a, I guess a. I'm going to season all. We'll you can get you some, slap um, your mama, the right? Slap your season. mama, or um, yeah, just just find something. Just find like this really looks like it honestly, looks like beef it thing. looks like beef. It looks more like beef than it does turkey. So, child, yeah. Oh, oh. 
I will say it, it is sticking. You can tell it has a higher fat content, at least for me, because generally when I would do this with beef back in the day when I ate beef, I would pour all it would the all the fat would render off of it. Um and I'll pour it off. So you can tell it has a little bit more fat just by the way it's it's um it's sticking to the bottom of the pan. But it's fine. We're gonna add some water to it and um and we're gonna let that be. Let me get my little water. Cut. You add taco seasoning to that or well, see, what I did was I added all the ingredients that were in taco seasoning. Just so you know. So that's generally what's in it. Taco seasoning generally just has salt, pepper, your cumin, chili powder, um, uh, cayenne, and stuff like that. Then I just added, like, the onion powder and garlic powder and all those stuff. So that means, guys, if you got all these seasoning at the house, save that 98 cents on that taco pan. Okay. But also, you know, if you want something quick and easy. Do it. Then you, can, you know, you can just get that there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So I'm gonna go ahead at this point and add my water because I, I, I'm ready for it. I'm just gonna add about a half a cup. Um, it's not much, just a little bit. Oh uh, well, I could add a little bit more. Mm -hmm. That smells amazing. I know. Yeah, I'm actually, I think I'm gonna add another fourth a cup of water. I, I know. Oh, I, I was agreeing with you, I wasn't. Oh. Yeah, so I'm gonna add another fourth a cup of water. And you know how I told y'all earlier, we have the, the heat on, on medium high. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on low and then I'm just gonna let it simmer. So, got on my let it simmer for? I would say maybe about um, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to, to uh, simmer for long. So I'm just gonna put the lid on that. Remember, this is Linda. Look how beautiful Linda is. She's this nice blue color. She's just, my girl gorgeous. That girl, she dumb thick. Oh! <laughs> wow. Not thick. She dumb thick. I'm gonna check on these beans that I have going back here. These are simmering in the background. What you got there? I got the black beans here. I'm you just got gonna the, taste. the leaf in the, in the thing. It's eh? a bay leaf. Oh, okay. It's, it's flavor. I'm just gonna taste. Wow, wow. Oh, it's a little boom. <laughs> back on the stove. <laughs> it was you finna fall for me. It was that good, y'all. And I barely, I barely did much to be honest. Just, it's something about when you know how to cook, it's just like, you don't even have to do much. This is done, I'm gonna turn that on low. I might add a little bit more water to it, but taste that fish, just taste it. Mm. I didn't even do much to it. I just added a little salt and pepper, a little adobo. That's like adobo. a little ripping. So while the um the meatless meat is simmering, I'm gonna um to be cutting this. I'm gonna do some some platano, some platano frito, some plantain chips. Shout out to my Latinos. What you just say? Some platanos. Some fried plantain. But how you said it? Platano pl frito. Some platano fritos. Okay. It's the Spanish thing. Also, this little knife, look how cute this knife is. My friend, Adaluz, shout out to Adaluz if you're watching this video, which you better be. Um, mi amiga de Venezuela, my friend from Venezuela. She gave me this knife. She left it at my house and we we're making arepas. Um, so yeah, so basically what I did, I just cut off the ends of it. And then um, with the platano, sometimes, well, not sometimes, the skin is a lot thicker than you would expect it to be, especially like compared to banana. So be careful as you're doing this. Um, also, I do not do this like a Hispanic would because I'm not Hispanic. But anyway, you know, just go along the little grooves and do that. And then you got to peel it off. It's going to be a little bit more or a lot more difficult than, than a banana. <laughs> uh, you were struggling. <laughs> but see, it just, it just comes right off. It's just a little more... Um, Mm -hmm. And get that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice them, you know, just for uh, for presentation. And that's how they gonna do. It. I'm gonna slice them on a on a diagonal, on a bias, um, just to have a little little contrast. So instead of being basic and cutting it like that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna tilt it a little bit. And I'm gonna cut it like that. You know, you got the little first one, and then you know maybe. I say maybe like a quarter inch thick or something like that. Just cut it, cut it however thick you want. 
Girl, just cut it. Oh, <laughs> um, just, yeah. No. You're gonna do it like that. I should get my big knife for this. This part. Just go. Like, just. Make sure you watch your fingers. You know, you gotta cut it the right way. It's crazy that but they smell like bananas. Low Does key. It? Yeah, I mean, they're related. It like, they like third cousins, something like that. Twice removed, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're related to each other. They're not strangers. So, what you doing with these? I'm going to fry them. All I'm going to do is, all I'm going to do with the, uh, with the platano, I just have some um, some canola oil. I'm literally just going to fry it in canola oil and just sprinkle it with salt. Or sometimes I sprinkle it if I want to be a little, um, you know, Hispanic meets Cajun. I'll sprinkle a little like Tony Satchery or something. I actually may do that. Sprinkle yeah, some Tony Satchery on there. Um, we can also check on this here meat. Let's look at that. Let's get it. Oh, wow. Yes. That's what you want it to look like. It's still a little moist. Um, but, you know, a lot of that water has sort of has sort of cooked off. So, yeah. That is... Se um, termino. That's done. That's done. The black beans are done. Now we just got to fry the, the platano. Heat up our, our tortillas. And we ready to eat because I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. My brother cooking. Let's get into these locks, child. Oh. Child, let's get into the naps. Into that scalp. Anyway, your girl three year lock anniversary coming up, and let's get into oh, this. three year lock anniversary. Yeah, it'll be three years on the fourth of April. Wow. I need a retweet. Anybody that know how to do locks, drop that in the comments. But yeah, we about to finish up this food. We about to get into how to make these plantains in a second. These plant, how you say it? Platano. Platano. The platanos. We about to get into that. The platano. Is it it's a platano or the platanos? Well, it depends on if you want to be singular or plural. Well, there's more than one, so it'll be plural. The platanos. We about to get into the platanos. Anyway, y'all, I'm I'm just I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. I'm delirious. And it shows. Hi. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's your boy, Big Two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get into it. So, one quick tip when you're frying. Oh, one quick tip. You look good in this lighting. Why, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just when the Lord blesses you with mm -hmm. the melody. Um, But one quick tip about frying. You never want to put your food in, whatever you're frying in there before your oil is hot. So, let me show you how to test your oil. If you have a wooden spoon, this is the spoon I was using to cook the, you know, we're going to, we going to, I don't like dishes. So, this is the spoon I was using to start it, that meatless meat. So you just take the end of it and just stick it in your oil and let it sit there for a second. And you can kind of hear it. And then when it starts to bubble up like that, that's how you know your oil is hot. So our oil is hot. I'm gonna put this spoon back over there and I'm gonna start to put the platano in. It doesn't need to cook for long, just like maybe a minute on each side. So I'm just gonna put it in there. <laughs> Shoot. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, I was nervous. <laughs> Boy, are you trembling? Could you just mm -hmm. not keep still? Mm -mm. So yeah, you want to just put it all in there. And this oil is, I have a, a pretty decent amount of oil in here, so I may not even, I'll flip it. But generally I have a little less oil. And you don't want to crowd your skillet. 
Just have it in there. That's my good. Just move it around a little bit. Almost there. Yeah, you see that? You want to look for a color, color like that. So once you see that, you can go ahead and flip it. You don't want to have it too dark. And just flip them. Just to that golden brown. Yes, sir. Get into it. Come on up in here. I think I had already flipped that one. Yeah, I did. So I don't even think that was a minute. That may have been like 30 to 45 seconds on each side. What temp do you have that on? Hot. Oh. <laughs> and see, once it, once it looks like that on both sides, she ready to come out. She ready. I mean, I guess technically in Spanish, platano is, is masculine, but it's gonna be a she today. El platano. He ready. It's going to be, like I know it's going to be gender neutral today. Yes, I'm all for that. Those are good. Yes, queen. Yes. That one not done yet. And then, now we got it out while it's still hot. Sits one little tiny statue, so I'm just going to take and do just a little light sprinkle. Some season on there. And you know, anybody that know about frying, know you gotta get that good paper towel. Ooh, that was a little much. Mm -hmm. Get that good paper towel to drain it. Or if y'all know about that newspaper, comment down below if you know anything about that newspaper. And then just kind of mix it around. And then that's that. You wanna taste one? Wow, like a, what uh -huh. hot? Uh -huh. hot. Crap, I'm hot. I'm mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it, brother. Put the bar stamp. Now we're gonna finish frying up the rest of these and we'll be back. Deserve.